Oh right, uh, apologies that I've not released a video in a while, but um, uh, my life's suddenly turned rather hectic, but that will uh, sort itself out all in good time. What I'm going to look at uh, is going to be a rather quick video. Uh, I've got a kilo of chicken wings here, and I've got some of this uh, buffalo, red hot buffalo wing sauce that I picked up in Aldi and it's the Bramwell's brand. So I'm going to give that a try. It'll be real quick. Um, the other apology I've got to make is that it's a bit windy for my barbecue and my backyard is just, sorry, it's just too windy and I can't do it that way. So I'm going to bake them in the oven. All right. First thing I want to do is get these wings separated out into their flats and into their uh, drumlets. So I'll get that done and we'll get back to you. So there you are, that's a kilo, about two and a quarter pounds of uh, chicken wings. What I do is I turn the wing over and just, there's like a, a V between the ulna and radius and the humerus. But you, what you do is you just go straight across that joint, which is just cartilage and cut straight through it. It's real easy. And then you've got your flats and your drumlets. Uh, the next bit is so simple uh, that it's almost laughable. All right, I've transferred them all to um, my baking tray and my oven is now set at 200 degrees Celsius, 400 degrees Fahrenheit. And I'm gonna put a liberal coat in of this all over the wings. I've used about oh, two thirds of that. So I've used about 200 grams of that. And I'm gonna get in with my hands. You can wear gloves if you want to do this, but that's entirely up to you. I'm not squeamish at all. So there you go. There's, a, there's kind of a nice vinegary sort of smell that come off it. Reminds me a little bit of uh, Carolina barbecue sauce more than it does of uh, anything else, but uh, I'm going to rinse my hands now before putting that into the oven. So I'm rather well known for never leaving things as they come out the bottle and the can. So I'm going to give that liberal sprinkling of cracked blackjack, black pepper, freshly ground of course. And I think I want to get on some, I've got some um, garlic salt, which I'm just going to sprinkle all over the top. And that just adds that little extra bit of garlic and a little bit of salt. So that's perfect for going in the oven. I'm going to slam those in now and then leave them in for about half an hour. So what I've done is I've brought them out part way through the cooking. And I just want to turn them in all that nice sauce just to make sure they're all basted before they go back in again for the last sort of 10, 10 minutes. So that's about right. I just want to make sure they all get wet with the sauce. Again, there we go. That can go back in the oven now. All right, let's see how we get on with these. Ah, lovely. So there they are, looking excellent. Okay, what I like to do with them is I toss a few into my bowl. Give them the good news with some more sauce and give that a little toss. And serve them up. Okay, let's give these bad boys a try. Mmm. Mmm. There's a nice vinegary kick. Nicely balanced um, heat from it. And it, it, it is quite spicy. So if, if you're not into very spicy flavours, I, I wouldn't recommend this to you. But that is not shabby at all. Oh,
If you have enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you would like to follow my channel, please subscribe and be sure to click the bell icon to receive notification of all my upcoming videos. Thanks for watching.